beautiful souls, the Awakened Dreamer here to give you your daily tarot reading for Thursday, January the 14th, 2021. And as always, uh, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to this channel. And I meditated on the energy overall for the day before beginning this reading. And the message that came through was positive mindset, positive mindset. So let's get started. All right, keep in mind guys, this is a general uh, daily read for all 12 signs. Ooh, feisty. So um, take what resonates and leave what doesn't for somebody else. That was feisty. I feel like there's a need for us to implement a positive mindset throughout this Thursday. But also we have to begin this daily read for Thursday the 14th. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we'll see which ones we actually go with. All right, so we have dance with life, do something to change your energy, and yes, just say yes. So they're right off the bat um, saying to you loud and clear, my friend, to do something to clear up or change up, switch up your energy throughout this Thursday. If you've been in a bit of a mental funk or you've been feeling a little bit down the dumps or things have been just getting the best of you, but say yes to implementing a positive mind that, mindset throughout this day. And I think you'll be truly um, impressed and surprised by how much of a an impact, a positive effect that um, it has on your day and how things transpire. And then we have, let's see if we want to take any more. Keepers of the earth, you are not alone and ancient ancestors stand beside you. Yep. I think it's a reminder that when things get tough and when things feel like a struggle or if you feel like um, there are just too many obstacles in your way between you and your goals. Um, and it's hard, once again, to keep that mindset positive. Remember, you're not alone. Okay, my friend? You are not alone. You always have your spirit guides uh, and your angels with you at all times. And you can always reach out to me. My email's down below. All right, we're not going to read those two. We're going to pull four tarot cards for the day some shuffling of course to continue this daily read for thursday the 14th thank you spirit thank you spirit keep them coming okay i'm gonna shift these over I'm going to pull the last one from the top of the deck. Interesting. Yeah, Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck. I feel like um, this is coming through in a couple different ways. So on one end, it feels like all these obstacles and um, loud noises and stressful things just coming at you uh, constantly. And it feels like you've just been looking for a break when it came to the start of the new year, but it doesn't feel like that's fully um, coming into play yet. But on another note, this is coming through as all of your negative thoughts at times, you kind of imprisoning yourself, which I admit I'm guilty as well. Um, nobody's perfect. You know, imprisoning yourself with your thoughts and um, allowing that negativity or one simple moment of frustration or one negative thought to spiral and snowball into a mental funk for the day. And so the day is all about, I feel, kind of getting yourself out of that, shaking things up in order to implement new healthy habits. Wow. Well, that was a lot from that card. And then, so to start, we have the Ten of Swords. So you start the day automatically feeling quite burnt out, um, stressed out, feeling like, you know, maybe you're thinking about some past um, betrayal, but this is more so for a lot of us coming through as mentally, emotionally, physically just depleted feeling like we've given all we can to a certain project or business or situation in general, but you're being told to, um, right off the bat, Spirit in the Universe is going to come in and try to help you switch things up to shake up your energy once again. Raise your vibration, if you will, because it feels like you have too much to accomplish, too much ahead of you uh, on, in a positive light to be feeling so out of it. And then we have the Four Swords. And so you make your way to finish up the first half of the day. And I feel like your guides are pushing you or you're listening to your body um, effectively to the point where you just need to take some time to rest. 
maybe even taking this point in the day, this part of the day to take a step back and adjust your perspective on um, how things are moving forward, your life in general, your mindset. Taking a long sort of nap at this point in the day or just doing something calm, creative, uh, meditate, whatever works for you. Ace of Wands. And so you make your way to start the uh, second half of the day and it feels like you're sort of given this reminder that there's a fresh start ahead of you. Um, or you sort of realize at this point in the day, okay, now that I step back and adjust my perspective a little bit, realizing you are truly burnt out and emotionally depleted at this time, it's about sort of manifesting or not even manifesting, um, implementing new adjustments and changes to your habits and routine to, um, and especially when it comes to your mindset, switching it to a positive one, of course, to see the light at the end of the tunnel, to see that you do have um, a fresh start when it comes to whatever frustrations and struggles you've been going through. Um, but not if you, once again, restrict yourself mentally. And being side by side with this yes card, they're saying, say yes to this new beginning, say yes to this fresh start in whatever category has been making your life more difficult or making you sort of slip away from this positive mindset into um, a funk, you know? So yes to improvement um, on all accounts, even if it's not immediate. Seven of Pentacles. And so you finish off the day thinking, you know what, I am... You might have a new found perspective on on where you're heading on your life in general, once again, on how powerful your, your mind is, how powerful your thoughts are, how your thoughts truly become your reality at the end of the day. Do they not? But it feels like you finish off the day being like, you know what, I'm just going to work on my business project, hobby, whatever it is for you. Um, it feels like you've been working on a financial foundation uh, for yourself, building it from the ground up recently. And it's, um, and it just feels like that is a solid way for you to end the day because it, it does feel like even though you were burned out and it's, it's understandable that you couldn't really accomplish much in the first half of the day, um, you do feel like you would like to end. It feels like you want to end the day with some sort of productivity besides all of this inner work and mental adjustments. Being aligned with the Four of Swords is definitely because you took the time to step back and adjust your perspective or took time to step back and implement a little bit of self-care, some rest. You're tired, my friend. Who wouldn't be with all that's on your plate? With all that you sort of, all the pressure at times that you put on your own shoulder or um, just within your own mind, right? But it does feel like a day where, you, where we will each individually start to kind of get a grasp on how to tweak things, how to shake things up in a positive, in a positive way moving forward. And I, I really feel like it all starts with our daily routine, right? If you want to change your life as a whole, if you want to sort of adjust something as a whole, you got to um, work on your daily routine and uh, your mindset. Absolutely. So let's finish this off by pulling a couple messages from the Angel Answers Oracle deck to wrap up this daily read. Thank you, Spirit. Whoa. Okay, you truly need to, we're going to put these ones back. You truly need to, you need to forgive yourself for feeling so burnt out. You need to forgive yourself at the end of the day for struggling to keep up a positive mindset at times or for letting things get out of hand to the point where you get into a mental, mental funk um, or for not being able to complete everything you want to in this first part of the day. Forgive yourself. You're only one person. You're only human. Don't stop. Whatever you do, my friend, don't stop. Whatever you're working towards, don't stop. When it comes to establishing um, this positive mindset and fixing, or not fixing, but improving some of these uh, personal habits and moving forward into a healthier uh, lifestyle for yourself, do not stop because there's nothing but success ahead for you. 
Alrighty, my friends, I hope this reading was truly helpful. Uh, don't forget to like this video, uh, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have the most amazing Thursday, and I'll see you next time. Bye.